Hello guys, it's like Skim here, because you work second record on the XW6, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Uh, we are in our sweet little base, um, and listening to some non copyrighted music. Oh, guys, this is the best thing ever. So, yeah, as you guys can hear, um, I've added in a couple of um, custom music. Uh, nothing too crazy, there's like three or four new pieces of music in the background. If you guys have any recommendations for non copyrighted music that you want uh, you want uh, to be in the space, please let me know, because um, I will be placing more speakers around the base the, like, the more I extend. Like I'm thinking, like I'm thinking maybe building like a cafe or something in here. Again, um, if if you guys missed out, uh, I missed out on this um, last episode. I think it was. I explained that I want to do more uh, stuff with my base. So I'm thinking I want to be able to build that um, thing wait actually a thermos insulation storage uh, I might be able to do this um, but I also want to do this which will require um, silver A little bit of titanium. I mean, four pieces of titanium. That's not a little bit. I don't want to rush to this game. Uh, unlike uh, the previous game of Subnautica, um, I already knew bits and pieces of um, the first game. I knew a couple of locations. I knew. Um, what's gonna happen in some like cases? So it was kind of like. So so that that game felt more like a. Fuck's sake. That game felt more like a speed run to me than anything else. Um. And in this game, I know like I know nothing about this, so. You know, I'm not gonna be rushing through things. I'm not gonna be getting bored easily. Um, and I mean, I kind of felt guilty for you know, um, for finishing the game of Subnautica like extremely fast. So yeah, I'm, I'm just saying that this um, in this game, I'm gonna be taking my time with it. Oh no. By the way, um, a lot of people are like asking me, "Oh, how am I able to play this game if I'm scared of like the um, deep oceans and stuff?" Um, it's normal because as much as I'm terrified of the deep unknown oceans, blah blah blah. Um, it's a, playing this game is playing this game is somewhat easier. It's not like you know I'm actually gonna die if I'm playing if I'm gonna be playing this game. If something something below me attacks me right now, I will probably get scared. 
but at least I know that I'm not gonna actually die because the biggest thing that like scares me is the idea of being eaten by a shark I'll chuck in some of this here take my tank and Glass. Oh, shit, yeah. Mm. Here we go. So I have it on 90 seconds of oxygen. Ah, oh, okay. That's cool. It's been 16 days in this game. Research, alter, uh... Uh, this was just mean. Uh, from... Okay. Uh, Piotr. On my application, I mentioned that I had, um, Severe... Galo... Gal... Galeophobia, which is... Wait for it. Fear of sharks. So much of my surprise when I discovered a joke sharks here. There's a reason they didn't call them gentle sharks. Anyway, the research outpost is half finished. I scraped my leg on a broken piece of uh, coral. The blood drew the brute shark and I couldn't build to rest uh, fast enough. I used the air bladder to get to the surface. I dropped the builder tool inside the base. If anyone makes it down though, they can have it. Wow. Um... Does tree search stuff, does vehicles, sea truck aquarium module. Um, external vacuums on the module collective uh, collect life specimen from the surrounding water and deposit them safely and uh, humanely inside glass tanks, which can then be accessed from inside the truck. Many years of technological um, endeavor uh, produced. The pressure resistant single sheet nano uh, the forced glass of the tanks. This remarkable feat of engineering creates the optimal enclosure for the study and observation of contained fauna. Sea truck fabrication module. This is something I'm definitely gonna need. Contains one wall mounted unique fabrication and a small amount of additional storage space. The fabrication module allows uh, operators to craft every, uh, everything available on a standard fabrication while, while additionally offering the ability to construct sea truck modules. Failure to attach this module for trips lasting longer than 8 hours uh, absolves the manufacturer of faults in all incidents regarding caloric energy intake. Um, deficiencies. NB, this module is powered by Sea Truck's main cabin. Shit, okay, I need food. Vital signs stabilizing. Now I'm gonna mark these locations as places that have been like been to and there could be like potential more loot. Uh this is base, this is base, this is base. Mission, mission, mission. Yellow is still unknown for me what I'm gonna use. Maybe eventually I'll figure more things out. Now, let me think. Perhaps, maybe. Copper, I can't complain. I genuinely can't complain. Thank you for that.
unusually useful. <gasps> there we go. There we go. Oh my god, I love them so much. Oh my god. Oh, now I feel guilty because um, a couple of episodes back, uh, before they became like they before they started being nice to me, um, I was kind of strict on them and I kind of started like stabbing the sea monkeys that like pissed me off. So yeah, now I feel like an absolute goddamn shake for stabbing them. Fucking hell. Um. Oh, we actually got it, lads. I can't. This is... This is actually making me so more emotional. Okay. I don't know if I need a blueprint for the Chapato or if it's actually just an existing thing. Um... We'll see in a second. Now, honestly, guys, I'm already starting to like this base a little bit more than I liked. Um, I mean, I hated the one in the normal Subnautica. In the, the normal Subnautica, in the original. Um, oh, so. Uh, so, can I show ball? Do have sulfur. So it's just a uh, Zobo Pass. Oh, that's like actually. Perfect. So now that I have to the portal. <coughs> oh, I think that's Tundra. Yep. I'm just getting getting ready for the big adventure, guys. I'm just getting ready for the big adventure. this got to do so I need wire and and copper wire now I do have access to copper wire and a wire and kit too why didn't I do it sooner then? What the fuck? If it's that easy to get all those resources, Jesus Christ. I can make two of these. I think so anyways. Maybe not. But, yeah, no, I don't think I can make two of these. I just over exaggerated. I shove this battery into charging. And we're goddamn fine. Like, oh, this annoys me so much that I didn't do it sooner. Right, sea monkeys zooming around. Wait, can I offer it like a fish or something?
please. First of all, who goes building without the necessary equipment? Or well, not equipment, but material. Um, second of all, I'm gonna need capo. And, yep, fine. Yeah. Like, I'm terrified of that thing in the distance, but at the same time, I know it's just chilling, like. It won't do anything bad. Okay. I want one speaker here. And another one here. Now. I want. Bed. Oh, right. This is my sleeping zoom. I mean, sleeping zoom, bedroom. <laughs> sleeping zoom. <laughs> when you're just too advanced to speak normal English. <laughs> we might have to use this as a replacement for the current battery of... Oh, yeah, definitely gonna use this. And as this is being used, I'm gonna charge this up. Um, the moon pool. I'm thinking about the moon, moon pool. Um, I've completely forgotten about its existence for 